Good evening, humans. Trans Source Moth here. And tonight, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to look at a piece of 112th furniture. Uh, I guess you could consider it an accessory, and that is the Throne of the Deceased from Big Smart Toys. And this thing, like, definitely looks badass. My friend told me that it went up on Big Bad Toy Store sometime last fall. I was like, I need that, so I pre-ordered it. And here it is. So uh, let's take a look at it. Let's do this. Kicking things off with aesthetics, and as I just said in the intro, this thing looks badass. That's what made me want to get it, and uh, I am happy to say that it looks just as good, if not better, in person than it did in the photos. Uh, I mean, as you can see, it's a pretty simple throne. You just got the, the seat here, space for the feet, and uh, it's kind of a high backing, kind of uh, asymmetrous. Uh, that's not a word. <laughs> it's uh, asymmetrical. There we go. Uh, and uh, yeah, just really, really well painted. I mean, it's rock, but I mean, they've, they've done it really well. It definitely looks kind of nice and natural. It looks wet with the, the sort of sheen they used. And uh, yeah, that just really adds to it. And as you can see, just kind of a throne made out of rock. Uh, really like the cracks here. Uh, just really lovingly done. The textures alternating between smooth and a little more rough are definitely very, very nice. Again, there's a lot of attention to detail, especially when you don't have any moving parts or anything like that. Um, and of course, because it's the throne of the deceased, you do have more just skulls and bones everywhere. So you got one with the little like metal headband here. And you got one covering its eye for the other arm. Or the other armrest, as it were, with a little bit of a spinal cord coming off. Uh, I got some more skulls set in the back. Uh, some, some more with that headband going on, and they got chain coming to come across the top with some more skulls just kind of like mashed in there. And you know, some some of the details get a little bit lost just because the way the the paint was done. Um, but again, this this was an affordably done um, accessory. Um, so like th this was literally like 35 bucks, which is not bad considering the level of quality here. Uh, so, you know, again, not gonna be completely super, super perfect, but I mean, perfect for what I need it for. And that's all I need to see. Uh, and they get some like kind of cattle skulls down here uh, with not, not really a definition, seems to cut off right before the eye, the uh, orbital sockets and uh, a skull there. And they get more skulls with some rib cage and uh, got a uh, hip bone here. Uh, more coming down to the bottom and you can see they got even got some bolts and that kind of travels over here this other side uh, and you can see that there was like kind of a metal bar coming into this other bolt and just really well done i like the kind of add of a little bit of a rust color down here that's definitely nice and uh as you can see some more kind of less definitive bones uh, i guess a you know, spinal cord into a hip here and not really sure what that's supposed to be maybe a jaw of some sort but really, really cool. And then finally the skull at the top. So just really super well done all around. Oh, and one more cattle skull. Uh, this one not sculpted quite as well. Um, and also stopping before the eyes or anything like that. But really, really cool looking piece of furniture for any figure. So again, because this was a very different thing for me to, to review, I was kind of considering what type of sections to do. Uh, obviously there's no accessories, there's no articulation, anything like that. So this is kind of a miscellaneous, just things I think I should touch on and talk about in a, re in the, a review of it. And uh, first thing I'm gonna talk about materials, uh, kind of feels like a resin style kind of PVC sort of plastic. Um, it is hollow, so I don't know how well you can hear that, but it's it's definitely hollow. Uh, the way it was packaged, I was a little worried. I thought it was gonna feel more fragile, but it definitely feels uh, sturdy. I wouldn't drop it, but <laughs> uh, it definitely feels kind of nice. And uh, you know, that that's an extra touch. Like I, again, something that you actually want to hold is that definitely, I, I don't, that's always a plus in my book. And uh, as you can see on the bottom, the bottom is unfinished as it should be. And uh, you got these four little, they're not felt, it's kind of like a foam sort of dots and those help kind of give you some space so you can put this on some more delicate surfaces which is really nice and uh yeah so that's kind of about it just materials and kind of that little piece of it so that is miscellany now we come to probably the most important part of this review and that's how do different figures look in the throne uh so we're starting off with the boss fight studios legends of lucha libre penta el cero m figure with the power rangers lightning collection lord zed with a Marvel Legends Juggernaut Wave Deadpool. With an SH Figure Arts Mandalorian Boba Fett. A WWE Elite Collection Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa. A Valiverse Action Force 
Bone Collector, a G.I. Joe Classified Series Baroness, and last but not least, yours truly in human form as an Articulated Icons Ninja. So my final thoughts on the Throne of the Deceased from Big Smart Toys is that if you are looking for a big, badass, evil-looking chair for any of your 1 12th and some of your 1 10th scale figures, this is absolutely it. The price point is right, the sculpt is beautiful, um, it's definitely, it definitely feels pretty solid. Uh, it'll fit into a number of displays depending on the property. So uh, yeah, absolutely worth picking up. Uh, as far as I could see, uh, again, I saw this come up uh, thanks to a friend letting me know on Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, doesn't look like it came up on a lot of other places. Uh, a lot of international sellers came up, so those of you, uh, if anyone is watching this from not inside the US, uh, there are definitely options to get it. I'm gonna put as many as I can find. Uh, I definitely didn't find a ton for where to get it. A big bad, bad toy store, absolutely. So links will be in the description below. So uh, please, if you found this review uh, informative and somewhat entertaining, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and or sharing. And if you want to take it just another step further, uh, I will have other ways to help the channel directly in the description as well. So please, please, please check those out. And with that being said, I hope you take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and most importantly, stay weird, Simeons.